Teddy Feinberg, Brooke Stockberger, coming at you live from Las Cruces, Sun News Garden. Brooke, how are you today? Doing well, doing well. March Madness, the sun's out, couldn't be better. Um, obviously, we're going to get the March Madness. It is madness. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're going to get the ball rolling just by saying congratulations to Santa Teresa High School. They're the Class 4A Boys Basketball State Champions. And we're also going to give a shout out to the Aggie baseball team who have beaten the UNM Lobos twice in the last week. Those two teams meet again in early April at Presley Askew Field. Of course, there are some pressing issues. Brooke, Aggies in the NCAA tournament, they're number 13 seed. They play number four, Indiana and Portland, Oregon. Should be an interesting game. Yeah, very exciting. Aggies, whack champions for the third time in less than a decade going into the tournament again. Uh, you know, this is becoming kind of a common thing every other, every second or third year for the Aggies. Uh, that, it's a, going up to Portland, tough early draw, obviously, against Indiana. But a lot of people are picking the Aggies. A lot of national talking heads are saying, hey, Aggies have sort of become the chic pick Absolutely. to pull the upset. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's a very interesting matchup, actually. We know what the Aggies do well. They like to pound the ball in the interior. Indiana's a prolific three-point shooting team. It's actually a very difficult game to get a handle on. I'm, I'm having a hard time leaning one way or the other on it. I will say this, though. Key for the Aggies, if they continue playing defense at a high level, I give them a very good chance, particularly at the three-point line. And I think their role players on offense, Tyrone Watson, Bonja C, these guys have to play well. Tyrone is that classic distributor, facilitator that he's been. Bonja, in terms of getting yeah. going early on offense, hitting some three-pointers. Uh, do you have a prediction for this game? Yeah, 71-65 Indiana. Sorry, Aggie fans. I'm going to be rooting for the Aggies. Yeah. I really am. I think the Aggies definitely can win. This, it wouldn't be a gigantic upset for them to win. Uh, but I just turned it over my head, looked at some stats and everything, and I came up 71-65 Hoosiers. I think a big key will be Zeller, the big guy, the freshman for the Hoosiers, 6'11", 240. He's in the middle. He started every game for them. You know, can he keep Hamadou and can he keep Kendall from, you know, Wendell? <laughs> I combine the two names. Can he keep Wendell from driving the paint and just lighting it up like against La Tech? That'll be a big key, the big guy in the middle. They haven't played, faced a big man like that. Um, again, this is a very hard game to get a handle on. The Aggies out-rebound them regularly. They outscore them at least you know, from a 30-game schedule standpoint. I, I am leaning towards Indiana. Again, I think the fact that all the ESPN pundits are picking the Aggies, that – that does concern me. And, and let's face it, Indiana's a Big Ten team. This isn't the University of Idaho. Um, but I will say this, though, too. I think the Aggies have a shot. Like I said, particularly if they play good defense and they get their role players moving on offense, if they win, no, it's not an upset. As a matter of fact, they could get to the Sweet 16. I believe the winner of, yeah. the, of this bracket, if I'm not mistaken, would then face VCU and Wichita State. So it's not out of the question. I, just, no, I think and it's a tall one. Their synchronicity, 20-year two two, uh, 20 anniversary of the last Sweet 16 team, maybe this is fake. We'll see how it goes. Folks, thanks for checking us out as always. Sun News Facebook, Twitter, lcsun-news.com all day, every day. Have a great day.